really wanted people to understand that women do go through a lot and there are a lot of things that people go through that we don't talk about and it's not embarrassing you know nobody can control what happens to their body some of the first symptoms i experienced were pain with intercourse it wasn't consistent it only happened sometimes which i think made it harder for me to figure out what was going on I kind of took it into my own hands to do as much research as I could as possible. And I remember one of the things that I researched a lot was how quickly can a cyst grow? And it didn't make sense to me because I had had this for five years, but for the first four years, it wasn't noticeable. The bloating wasn't noticeable. It really didn't do anything until this last year. kind of just right off the bat told her what you know what was going on I said I have a cyst I know that I have a cyst because I was told I have one so on the ultrasound kit they could see a small portion of it and then the rest was just pitch black and so to her she's like okay well it looks like it's still pretty small um you know I don't see anything else The size of the cyst ended up being 28 by 26 centimeters and then it weighed 10 and a half pounds and that was with the fluid and the sac. And it was overwhelming hearing so much at one time, you know, the size, how big it was five years ago, but it was also really exciting at the same time. There's been a lot of people that have messaged me going to surgery and, you know, they've said, wow, you are recovering so great. I, you know, I hope that I can recover that well. And I think another thing that's important to stress is that everyone's different. I think mentally I realized just how strong I was getting through this, getting through the surgery, advocating for myself, and then being able to share my journey with other people has really made me feel empowered. And so it's been quite a journey.